for the serious gamer. What's up, NGT Challenges, Next Gen Tactics, NGT Games, whoever's watching this, how's it going? Gary Scott here with my entry for the NGT Challenges Minecraft challenge was to build something awesome and I built a sandcastle and it says my name on it because it's awesome. No? Maybe? I thought it was awesome. So here it is. We'll get a we'll get a, a view from um, a zoomed out view of it um, in a little bit. But for right now, I'm gonna actually get off my boat, which is I know a strange thing to do out in the middle of the water. But there's a reason why I'm leaving my boat here. I will explain that um, in a little bit. So we're gonna go check out the castle. It's made of sand, and uh, it is uh, it's pretty cool. Not gonna lie, got a dock. It's pretty awesome. Uh, so yeah, there's a, there's a challenge though when you make a sand castle, or anything out of sand, if, if you want to use sand, and that is sand is affected by gravity, so you'll see along edges uh, where there's, you know, nothing underneath it, I have to use stone, you know, I'll put, I'll just put stone one layer, and it'll, it's able to hold up whatever sand I put on top of it, so that is the major challenge with building a sand castle, um, and, uh, some fences here to make it look like a, like a gate, which is pretty cool. And, uh, I mean, yeah, I built, a, there's a perimeter wall around the in, internal bi uh, bit of the castle. And, um, basically, in, in, like, what, the thing I like about the sand castle, one, I do a live stream with, uh, on Justin.tv Minecraft to do it, I, I, I live stream a lot of games, but primarily my Minecraft, um, just because it's easiest to do, you just, you know, fire it up and you can do whatever you want, screw around, it's a lot of fun. Um, get the streamers, the, the viewers involved, having, you know, taking requests on what to do, and uh, one of the requests from a long time ago, actually, right in the beginning of the stream, was, was somebody wanted me to build a sandcastle, and I was like, guys, I'm not, I'm not gonna build a sandcastle, like, I thought it was just a stupid idea, I was like, there's no way that would be cool or fun, and, uh, <laughs> I was wrong, <laughs> I was very wrong, because it's a lot of fun, it actually was a, lo was a lot of fun, I streamed most of the building process, um, and I've got this glass area in the middle. It's pre pretty cool. Actually, I probably should have shown you. But, well, while I'm up here, I'll use this t exam uh, time to show you guys what I mean by... The so you see how this floor here is all sand. And the ceiling is all stone up here. Well, that's f for a very good reason. The reason I was talking about before, how sand is affected by gravity. So what you need to do is... First, I make the entire floor out of stone. So I have a, a foundation. And then it's easy just to put sand down. Uh, on top of it so your floor you have to take an account when you're building your walls and you're, when you're building um, just anything that you need to take into account the height of you know because you want to make sure your character can fit in and it's not too cramped so like down here it's three squares and then um, or cubes I should say and then a, a layer of stone and a layer of sand so altogether the outside wall has to be five or even six because around the edges I have um six but you can see what I mean here where it's it's kind of a challenge to use sand just because uh, let's take an example what hmm we'll take this piece of sand to use as an example say you know like I really want to put a piece of sand right here it falls if I want to put it here it falls and I don't have any stone on me right now because I just died and respawned, so other, but you can you can see what I mean though, as I fall, that you have to put it around here. So we'll take a quick tour of the castle. We're right on the, so we'll go back up to the top floor that I was on there. We'll go up to the main tower first, the main center tower, which is my personal favorite uh, tower, and it has the best view of the sun sunrise. The sunrise is right in between those two mountainous areas or, or I guess the pieces of that mountain right in between that tree there and this is by far the best view of the sunrise it comes up right through here uh, honestly it wasn't intentional it's just kind of the way it happened um, so it's pretty it's pretty cool it, it, if we could have caught a sunrise it would have been it would have been nice if you look out you can see Ooh. the rest of the castle man I am I'm, in a, I'm not doing good today about my falling. 
Um, and I wanted to put something in the middle here that was kind of like a garden, and it turned hey. into just a two trees because, for, for whatever reason, uh, grass. I, well, I probably it probably has something to do with water and the nearness to water and whatnot. Hey. But for whatever reason, down here, let's try to get down there. Come on, down here, grass isn't growing, but you can see it's kind of a garden. It's got trees planted. Um, here's the bottom floor of the castle. You've seen it briefly. I started putting rooms up, and I realized I didn't want any rooms up, so you've got, like, one room here that doesn't really have anything in it. That room will go in the later, the other room over there. But right now, I'm going to go up into this tower. And another thing that I wanted to take in, uh, very importantly, take very seriously when building this was uh, symmetry. And as you can see, let me jump up here. I'm trying to hold my keyboard down. It's kind of resting on my desk here with the microphones in the way I'm trying to hold it down so it doesn't make too much noise as I'm making all kinds of, there we go you can see the castle is very symmetrical I, I uh, really wanted it to be symmetrical and just look nice and uh, so you can see and I'm kind of a neat freak I'm kind of OCD like you wouldn't know it if you knew me but when, I, when it comes to building like whenever I like when I was a kid I played with Legos like a lot and uh, I was OCD about making things symmetrical and making sure that, uh, as my microphone gets all knocked around here, wow, <laughs> making sure that things were symmetrical and just like looked really nice. So uh, I don't know, I don't know why, but that's kind of how I am. And it shows in my in my Minecraft building extravaganzas. <laughs> uh, yeah. So, I mean, really, hey. that's that's all there is to it. It's a sandcastle. I'll go around the perimeter wall real quick and go up into each tower. I'm not going to go up into every single tower um, just because it's not really like time uh, practical to do that. I mean, you can see, you can get a good idea what the castle looks like. New addition, by the way, those of you that like Minecraft out there, that hold down the shift key actually allows you to do two things. You can teabag zombies uh, like that. If I were to be killing a zombie right now, I could teabag him. And if you hold down the shift key and go off to an edge, you won't fall. Like I'm holding, I'm holding down the forward button right now, and not falling off the edge. Hey. If you let go of it, you'll go down. So I did that on purpose. And yeah. So it's pretty much my sandcastle. <clears throat> I can't really, and I can't really offer too many tips on how to build one like this. I mean, it really, you just gotta be able to farm a lot of sand. Um, this whole area here was like duny, like sand duny. And I had to farm a whole lot of sand out of there. Actually, before I... I guess since you get the idea what the castle looks like, I'll go show you where else I farmed sand from. Which, by the way, is not fun to do. And, uh... So right here, there was a... Like, there was, that sand was like three layers deep. I got a ton of sand from there. And, uh, towards the end, <laughs> I'll be honest, about halfway through the, uh, perimeter wall here, I just got... I ran out of sand... And I was just so sick of farming sand. I was like, I'm not doing this anymore. Uh, there's not going to be a winner to this contest. It's not going to matter doing things legit, not legit. So I just fired up the old inventory editor and I put in some sand because <laughs> I was like, I'm so sick of farming sad. Because uh, there was actually one whole one whole live stream. You could probably go find it on Justin.tv in my slash Gabriscon in my section, like the videos, like where it records all the streams. And there's one stream where, like, for, like, an hour and a half, all I did was farm sand. And my streamers were like, do something else. We're sick of seeing you farm sand. And, uh, so, so, yeah. I mean, Minecraft for me is a lot more about building things and having fun doing that than it is about, you know, worrying about monsters and, and uh, you know, and, and doing things legit for the Minecraft purist out there. So, what am I doing here? Well, I built in a super secret... A super secret exit escape route just for the, those odd occasions where I do put it on hard mode and I do play with the zombies and skeletons if they were to ever invade my castle I have a, I have an escape route and now you might be thinking hmm maybe that's why he left his boat up in the water there hopefully it's still there but yes this is why I left my boat out in the water and uh, also this chest right here is where I keep my TNT and whatever other super secret inventory edited items, <laughs> I hide them in that chest right there. So, goody goody, my boat is still here. 
So I will leave you guys with a top view from up in my balcony of my castle. Hopefully my boat doesn't break on the rocks, a.k.a. sand, and good enough. All right, we got to make it up here. I apologize. This is going to be... I'm doing this video live, so I'm not going to be editing it out. So I'm just going to go for it. We're going to walk up to the balcony. I'm going to say, hey, look, there's a big view of my castle. And I'm going to say, thanks a lot, guys, later. But before I do that, we're going to have to... <laughs> together, we're going to have to go to the top of this, this mountainous area. So... I got a question for you guys down in the comments section. Why don't you tell me oh, what you think about Minecraft and the people like me who play on peaceful mode and who, when they get sick of farming sand, etc., or when they want to just have fun with TNT, they go into the old inventory editor and, uh, you know, have just have fun. I'm an, I'm under the impression that video games are about having fun, not about being one three three seven and being purists. I certainly have been criticized by those out there who are Minecraft purists who don't believe in inventory editing and don't believe in playing on peaceful mode. And uh, I'm I want to know what you guys think about that because I don't know. If I know for a lot of you guys the same thing goes. Minecraft is just about having fun, and uh, you know I don't think it's uh. Ooh. I don't think there's any point to arguing about stuff like that and being like, oh, you're a noob. Uh, no, I just I just play games for fun. So, that's it, guys. There's, oh, you know what? We'll wait for it to get dark. We'll watch the sunset. We'll give it a few minutes to get dark because it looks pretty cool when it's all lit up at the end. Or at, at the nighttime, I should say. It's going to be the end of the video, but <laughs> not at the end. I don't know what I meant by that. So, yeah. Actually, you know what? We're going to cut it off now because I don't feel like waiting for sunrise or sunset. You can see, though, that it would look pretty cool lit up, and it's got Gary Baston written on the front. And that's my Minecraft sandcastle. Thanks a lot, guys.